You stupid fool, you forgot. I forgot what? Tell me! Goku. Uh? There's something, something your grandfather once told me that I think you should know. Long ago, your grandpa Gohan was walking through the woods when he came upon a crater that had been recently made in the ground. When he went to examine it more closely, he found what appeared to be some sort of spaceship. And next to it, there you were, lying in a little round pod. Gohan tried to take care of you, but you were wild, downright uncontrollable, and unusually powerful for a baby. You wanted nothing to do with Gohan's kindness. Then, one day, there was a terrible accident. You fell into a deep ravine and badly injured your head. Your grandfather feared that he had lost you, but somehow, miraculously, you survived. Yes, any other child would have died, but you recovered. And from that day on, you became a happy, loving boy. I'm from outer space? Yes. Well, that would explain a lot. So you think Goku has some connection with this guy? I wish I knew. Okay, you've got my attention. Now tell us who you are! Well, I wasn't expecting to give a history lesson when I came here today. But all right, I'll tell you everything. After all, you are going to be working for me from now on, and I do like my subordinates to be well informed. Hey, Krillin, you all right? Yeah, be careful, Goku. This guy's not normal. Mm -hmm. Believe me, I know. I could sense that from the minute he landed. Even now, standing here talking to him like this, something about him turns my stomach. Such harsh words. Careful, you're more like me than you realize. <clears throat> you were born on the planet Vegeta. You are a space fighter, a Saiyan warrior, just like me. Ah! Uh, uh, huh? Goku! Allow me to introduce myself, I'm Raditz. Your big brother. Uh, uh, uh! Goku has a... a brother? Goku, he looks like you. Why should I believe you? Yeah, that's right. What the heck is Goku doing on Earth if he's from another planet? <laughs> that's simple. We sent him here. Kakarot was given specific orders to clear this world of its current inhabitants, a mission which he has failed miserably. Huh? You see, we Saiyans are sort of like planet brokers. We scour space for planets that will bring a high price on the galactic market. Once we find them, we send our warriors there to purge them of any life and make them ready for sale. It's a very, very profitable business, and we take great pride in being efficient in our work. For example, if we discover a planet with strong inhabitants, we send a team of our adult fighters to wipe them out. But for planets full of weaklings like this one, one of our babies is generally sufficient to carry out the order. 